I'm David Cook. I am the new assistant professor of clarinet here at Millican University. And I teach clarinet, music theory, oral skills, and uh, other courses in the, for clarinet majors and clarinet students here at Millican. My past experiences, I really draw on those in my own teaching and in my own performing. My previous roles playing uh, principal clarinet, E-flat clarinet, and bass clarinet, all with various types of orchestras as well as chamber ensembles. That gives me a really, what I think is important, flexibility in my playing and I then am allowed to, I then can use those experiences to help teach my students as well in terms of the, an understanding of playing the instrument. I think those experiences are really important, but experience itself is not enough to learn. We have to be able to sit back and reflect on what we learn from our, from our actions, and only through that are we able to grow as musicians and teachers. I want to bring a lot of high energy and very um, innovative, exciting things to the School of Music while still respecting the traditions that music has um, held on to for the past centuries. I mean, we're in a very, very uh, rapidly changing time. We have a, there's a lot of things happening in the field of music. And one of the things I like about Milliken is that the School of Music, the faculty here, the administration, we really understand what those changes are. That well, this is an evolving field. This is a fluid um, art form and things are constantly changing. We're trying to be on the cutting edge of that all the time. In terms of my teaching, I really want my students to walk away with a better understanding of who they are as a musician and a person, but also to be able to think critically and solve their own problems. I think a lot of teaching is helping students understand why something is happening, why it's not going maybe as well as they want, and then helping them identify a process to work through that, to get from step A to step B, etc. while being able to do that on their own instead of me telling them what to do, being able to help them understand how to make their own decisions and problem solve with their um, whatever they're working through. The thing I like about the clarinet is the wide range of um, what the way composers use the instrument. It, we, we can go easily from being a, um, in a symphony from being the solo line and then all of a sudden be back in, in kind of the texture as part of a, lar a part of a bigger picture, kind of like one dot in a, a pointillistic piece of art. And there's a lot of different family members of the clarinet. We have clarinets that are, if we were to unwrap them, are taller than I am, all the way down to instruments that are about this long. So that, there's a lot of different colors and a lot of different ways the clarinet family gets used by composers. And the other thing is that it's one of the most flexible and most uh, versatile instruments. It appears, and of course in classical music, chamber music, orchestra, solo playing, but also has a strong history in jazz and a lot of contemporary music as well. Composers are not afraid to write for the clarinet in different scenarios and that, uh, that versatility and sort of, again, fluid nature of the instrument is what I find most appealing about it. My favorite thing about teaching music is ultimately that there is no right or wrong. Now, I know my students are like are thinking, wait, you just marked this wrong on my homework. And there are some, of course there are some undeniable truths, but ultimately, especially what I do in teaching clarinet, is in, in, and in the music theory uh, sequence as well. There's a lot of interpretation. What exactly is a composer maybe trying to say with this piece of music? Th if this uh, phrase is unmarked, how might we perform that? How, there's, mo there's so many ways to do things and it's, there's that flexibility and I really feel like working with students on again, making their own decisions rather than just how I would play this or how I would analyze this. That makes it a really interesting dialogue in the, in the teaching process. The School of Music at Millican stands out because there, again, is this sort of forward thinking, this entrepreneurial mindset about what is happening in the discipline right now. We're not trying to teach students how to succeed and get a job the way it was 50 or 20 years ago. We're trying to think about now, trying to think about the future. What is, where is music going and how can we predict um, how can we predict where the field is headed and setting our students up for the best possible success in this ever-changing environment. I started out in um, fifth grade because my parents said I had to do an instrument for a year, either band or orchestra, and I picked the clarinet because it's the one I was least bad at on the instrument testing days. There are, there's no great story of finding one in someone's closet or a relative that played it. I'm, this is, I'm not very... Uh, I don't make for a good story in that regard, but I, um, I, I really enjoyed playing, playing the instrument because, I don't know, I felt like it helped me say something that I wasn't able to say as a, um, 
with 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 words and with speech and it, it, um, the tangible act of the physical act of playing the instrument and I think that's a really important part of what I do is there's this inherent idea of play in my in this profession the idea of playing an instrument there's a sort of there's a fun there's an effervescence there's a spontaneity that comes I think is um, a connotation with the word with the idea of play and that's I try and bring that mindset to what I do as a teacher as well